Hey guys, Andy N, my friend Rihanna and Elizabeth. Straight over to Rihanna now. I'm going to be good to her and tell people my poems we're going to read. I'm oh, not, I'm going to read, I'm a poem Rihanna's going to read. <laughs> She's going to do four from her book for us. Take it away, my friend. Mother and daughter ripping. When we fight, I storm off into the meadow of buttercups behind our house, like I am a great gust of wind sweeping through it. Rip them out of the ground like a lion ripping flesh off a meaty bone. And they don't deserve it, the buttercups, minding their own business. I'm ripping petals and turning them into pieces of golden confetti, throwing them into the mercy of the breeze. All the while she is ripping clothes out of drawers and ripping posters off walls, I could rip this damn meadow clean of buttercups. And when I'm done with the slaughter, I go home. Her clothes are everywhere. I am sweating and covered in dirt. And neither of us says a word until she asks me, what's for tea? Oh, I love that piece. It's just it's such an intimate piece about relationships. And I didn't tell you for when I read this, actually, yesterday, originally, this piece. I actually, it's just a bit dyspraxia kicking in. I read it as mother and daughter rapping. Yeah, well, no, we don't we don't rap. <laughs> it's all Taylor Swift in this house, so. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, might be mother and daughter, my mother and daughter karaoke then, right? So good. <laughs> Taylor Swift style. No, I love it. I think it's great, actually. It's just it's such a guy said in the first half, it's a great little piece of actually in the intimacy between a couple and of different generations. So brilliant stuff. Okay. Less of me, more of you. <laughs> Kira Knightley. You don't know why you're remembering this now, after all these years, but your whole body winces in horror when the memory randomly comes to you like an unsolicited takeaway menu through the letterbox. What on earth were you thinking? What kind of fucking madness was going on in your knickers that could have ever persuaded you to do it? What you did. You tried to recreate the scene from Love Actually. The one where a hopeless loser, all doe-eyed and despairing, tries to win Kira Knightley over with a series of cards on which he's written declarations of his unrequited love. And what you didn't think of, that, unlike in the film, this theatrical spectacle of yours was not set on a picture-perfect, snow-dusted, Christ Christmassy warm street somewhere in swanky London. Nope, it was a grim July in the South Wales Valleys, outside a stinking, pissy pub in your old university town. Pavement covered in chewing gum and dog shit, the sky threatening and delivering on cue rain. And there you were, standing in the drizzle, holding up these soggy cards in front of this speechless girl. Why you did it? Fuck knows now. But you did things like that when you were younger. Things you thought made you interesting. Things you thought could compensate for the things you could not do, like trust. You offered gestures in place of feelings. You played games you thought you could win when all you really should have done was be yourself. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. I get to hear you read that one after reading it before. Always remembers me that scene we were talking about in the first half was. And I'd forgot about this till lunchtime today when I got reminded. And it was Andrew Lincoln that was doing all those card scenes, wasn't it? In it was Love okay. Actually. Yeah, it was Andrew Lincoln. And he's yeah. more famous nowadays for being Rick Grimes in The Walking Dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I've never seen it, but yeah, I've seen seen adverts. But wow. Yeah, I said it's that's her territory. There's always memes going around about around Christmas time and people write random things on the cards, but I, I, yeah, I can't even tell you what I wrote on those cards. I, I dragged the same boy I actually wrote. Probably some poetry or something. But... Yeah, probably. Back in those days, probably bad rhyming poetry, probably, as well. Mm -hmm. As Lee said, the better, really. So, yeah. But anyway, listen, I'm not going to embarrass you anymore. Less of me, more of you. September 30th, 2005. This is how it starts for us. The both of us screaming, your little lungs giving out their very first roar, and me on the other end of the cord, left smouldering in the embers of that temporary madness. And now, all these years later, that cord has been cut. You still have the lungs of a lion, and we are both still screaming. That last line, screaming, does really hit me really hard. That's on us. It's a great piece, that one, indeed. So, Do you find when you're reading, reading back some of these poems sometimes, it's you look at them and think, you can talk, I, I know I'm like my poems, but I look at them reading and reading back thinking, how did I get into the zone for that piece like that sometimes? 
Mm. Yeah, I, I I wish I could remember writing them, you know. I mean, I remember writing, like, the mother and daughter regular one, for example. I remember writing that literally after, a, you know, a blazing row with my daughter and um, that, that came instantly straight away from that. But a lot of them are, yeah. And going back to that moment in 2005, it was interesting going back and trying to tap into how I felt um, giving birth. And, and that poem is all about... Um, and again, we talked about the symmetry, how it appears on the page just then and now and the cord being cut because, you know, she's 18 now and yeah, that's, I'm getting used to the cord being cut and her not being tied to me all the time, which is a, another podcast in itself. Yeah, no, agree, agreed. And then growing up, but yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Give us a big finale then. The fourth and I think it's fourth piece now, isn't it? The a big finale of the fourth piece. Takes a woman on average seven attempts to leave an abusive relationship. Like the dirty city at sunset, when the awesome light sinks behind the grey tower blocks, you could be pretty in moments, and that is why I stayed. Brilliant. Brilliant. No, great way of finishing that. We perhaps need to state to people that the piece you read in the second half not all the pieces in the book are short and concise as this. <laughs> no, no, no. You, 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 um, you pick quite small ones. That, but yeah, no, there's a lot of longer poems. Um, but um, some, some, some poems only need a few words. You know, some things are best said in the fewest words possible. Yeah, no, I agree. Mm. I agree with yourself. Mm. It's been a pleasure today, Rihanna. I've absolutely really enjoyed this. It's been great to get to know you the past hour or so, definitely. So. I have to apologise for the mad pats that have been. I don't know if you've seen them going up and down the stairs. Uh, I'm blind as a coach, so you better oh. tell. You better. If people are wondering, if you've seen some movement yeah. up and down the stairs. I'll let you tell it's people what like it is. A, a, you know, one's black and one's white. They've just been zooming up and down the stairs all the way through this. I did oh. tell them to behave, but they obviously didn't. <laughs> they um, always say with cats, they got mind of their own, haven't they? In the yeah. best of times, so it's oh. worse than teenagers. At <laughs> it's, it's, it's on Taylor Swift 24 7. So. They always say, don't you, when you're in the creative industries, never work with children and animals. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And that's why I look at it definitely. So, <laughs> well, keep in touch anyway. I've we'll got to chat for a few more minutes off mic anyway. So, I've got a few things to uh, tie up with yeah. you. But it's yeah. been a pleasure today. Yeah. Thank you so keep, much. Keep us, informed of, keep us informed of this TV thing happens as well. Because, we'll yeah. Man, brilliant. Anyway, guys, girls. That's it today for a spoken label. I'm going to go do some sunbathing in the backyard in a minute while we've got this sunshine because I'm not used to this. So thank you to Rihanna and Elizabeth. Is it still raining where you are? Is it, or is it okay now? Of course, it hasn't stopped. <laughs> it's sub law, that one. So yeah. anyway, guys, goes as Don Callis over at AW Wrestling says, stay safe and stay over. And we will see you all next time. <laughs>